Hi everyone, my name is Pradyum K. Srival and today we will discuss the solution to the 30th problem from the CP sheet by TLA eliminators under the rating of 1400. So let's begin. So here I have my sheet and I'll open this problem. So it is called tape. You have a long stick containing M segments from 1 to M. Each segment is 1 cm long. Sadly some segments are broken and need to be repaired. You have an infinitely long repair tape. You want to cut some pieces from the tape and use them to cover all of the broken segments. To be precise, a piece of tape of integer length t placed at some position s will cover segments s, s plus 1 up to s plus t minus 1. You are allowed to cover non-broken segments. It's also possible that some of the pieces of the tape will overlap. Time is money, so you want to cut at most k continuous pieces of the tape to cover all the broken segments. What is the minimum total length of these pieces? Okay, so basically what they are saying is that we have a very long tape or sorry, we have a very long stick of length M. Okay, so let's say we have this stick like it is divided into M portions each of one length. Okay, but the uh, like problem is that some of these portions are broken. So like let's say this is broken then this is broken and also uh, this is broken right and what they're saying is we can use tape to fix these broken pieces that means we have to apply the tape let's say the tape is red colored so basically I can apply tape here like this so it is repaired okay so it, this part is repaired then I apply uh, a piece of tape here so that that is repaired and a piece of tape right here so it is repaired okay so that's how I can repair it but they are saying that I can only use at most k pieces of tape k pieces of tape and like those pieces can be of length more than one as well like here as you can see I only used one length pieces but you can use uh, more than one length as well right so let's say you have been given this test case let's say uh, the similar test case like you have some parts and then uh, this one is broken this one is broken and also this one is broken okay so we have three uh, three pieces we have broken and k is given to be two so they are saying that um, they are saying that we can only use two pieces of tape so we have to determine that what is the minimum length of the tape okay minimum total length of these pieces so like here we used three length right and of course there's a minimum because there are three broken pieces so we need at least three length, length tape but uh, what if we have a constraint that if k equal to 2 so k equal to 2 means that we can only use two pieces of tape so in that case what can we do so in that case the optimal way is to just use this length tape here like long tape on these three cells okay and this uh, one small tape on this cell so as you can see all the damaged cells have been repaired right this one this one and this one and we have used only two pieces of tape so the answer here is four because we used four length so simply we have to minimize the length and print the minimum length that we that we have to use right <coughs> so for example here one more sample I'll take let's say 1 2 4 60 and 87 so like we have five segments okay I mean the tape is very long it is 100 segments long and for the first segment is broken so 1 2 then we have fourth segment broken okay 1 2 4 and um, we have like I'll just dot dot here this uh, 60 this is broken and the 87th one it is broken right and we can only use three pieces of tape so here k is given to be equal to three right so what will we do so what we can do is we can just use uh, one tape for these three cells so that will use four length right and one tape here and one tape here so one length one length so total six lengths we can use right so with three pieces six is the best answer okay 
so yeah that's the problem and like you can try to solve it by yourself and just pause the video and when you unpause you will see a solution <coughs> okay so guys let's solve an easier problem first okay so what could be an easier problem let me just uh, ask ask you guys this that let's say we were given the same problem that we have a long stick and um some segments are broken let's say this segment this segment this one and this one so these four are broken and we have to like use tape to repair those pieces and we don't have any constraint on k like basically k equals to infinity that means we can use any number of tapes that we that we want to use okay so in that case what would be the answer like if we are allowed to use any any number of pieces of tape then what is the minimum total length that we have to use so uh the answer of obviously n right the answer is n and what is n here n basically is the input in n that is the number of segments which are broken okay this this is the n right so um if we have k equal to infinity then the answer is obviously the number of broken segments so here the answer is 4 because we can simply uh have this one length this one length and this one length and also this one length so uh we have four one length pieces so we have total length as four right so and obviously we cannot get better than four length right so that is one thing now you you are, now you understand this but let us try to add the constraint here that uh we can only choose at most k pieces of some thing so let's say i give you one test case okay so let's say i have uh this stick and on the one it is broken then on three it is broken then on four five six six is broken okay and let's say we have 10 broken also so 7 8 9 or let's say we have 9 uh, broken okay and so here uh, four are given to be broken right so you have at, if you have k equal to 4 then obviously the answer would be 4 like you can just do what what we did above right just use single length pieces and the answer would be 4 but what if you have k equal to 3 that means you can only use three length pieces right so in that case what you, what can you do so basically like if k were 4 then we would use uh, four pieces of like this this one length another one length another this one length and this one length right so ideally we would use four pieces but now they are saying that we have to use only three pieces so what can we do so what we can do is we can try to merge two tape pieces into a single one right so what will we do like here if we merge these two pieces then this extra one will come like we will uh, waste a piece of tape here i mean uh, not a piece of tape but one length of tape will be wasted on this cell right so if we merge these two one will be wasted but if we merge these two then these two cells will be useless so like we are wasting two length of tape on these two cells right and if we merge these two then also we are wasting two length on these two cells so obviously we will just merge these two that means we will use one length tape right here okay we will use one length tape here and i mean not one length one piece of tape we'll use right here having length 3 and this is of length 1 uh, this is also of length 1 so total length 5 uh, we have done okay so uh, this is your like idea that if we want to reduce the number of pieces then we will merge two pieces of tape together right and which two pieces will be merged we want to minimize the length right like uh, we want to minimize the wastage also so here um in one scenario we were wasting only one cell okay we were wasting only one cell and in other scenario we were wasting two cells i mean two length of tape right so we chose the one with one cell and we just uh, draw a tape right here now let's say if k was not 3 if k was 2 that means um we want to reduce even one more tape piece like currently we are using three pieces but we want to use one less piece 
so again we have to merge uh, some two so like here either we can merge these two like uh, let's say i use yellow color so either we can merge this and this so it will become one long tape like this right and or we can merge this and this so it will uh, become one long tape like this so in both the cases uh, we are basically wasting two two cells right so we can uh, just use any of them like if i uh, draw here then basically these two this length two piece i mean these two cells are not broken but still using tape on them so this two extra length is, is coming from there and if we uh, merge these two to make uh, two pieces then also uh, there are two cells which are unbroken but covered by a tape so that's wasteful but in either ways we are wasting only two cells so we can do any of them okay so let's say i just merge these two so we have a tape here of length 4 and here a tape of length 3 so in total the answer for k equal to 2 would be 7 right so this like this example must have given you the intuition that what we can actually do like uh, i told you like let's i just let me gen generalize what i said let, let, let's say you have a tape right and there are n um, broken segments okay there are n broken segments and you have like let's say k equal to n minus 1 so like ideally you would you would use n tapes right three uh, four tapes you would use but let's say k equal to n minus 1 that means you have to reduce one piece of tape so that means you have to merge one pair right so what will you merge you will merge those two who are the closest together like you will merge the ones with the smallest difference right so in this case you can see this uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so if you merge this uh, 4 tape and 5 tape then you will get the lowest uh, waste wastage right so you will merge these like if k equal to 3 then you will merge these but what if k equal to 2 so you have to merge one more so like um, either you will uh, merge these two or you will merge these two so in that case either this one is wasted or these two is wasted so we will waste this one right so we will just uh, use this tape right so we are using two tapes and then that we have we have the answer so like 4 plus 1 which is 5 so the way to think about this is that uh, when we have a tape like when we have this stick and in between we have unbroken pieces like between two broken pieces let's say this these are the broken pieces so between two unbroken between two broken pieces we have some unbroken pieces and if you want to merge two tapes together then we have to sacrifice that length that means we have to cover them with tape so uh, every additional tape that i want to reduce the gap will get added to my answer like initially the answer is 4 if i can use four tapes right if i can use four tapes the answer is 4 because 1 2 3 and 4 length uh, like length one each four tapes so the uh, the total length is 4 initially but now let's say i want to reduce one tape so that means i have to merge those two so this this block will also get included like either we can uh, include this block of length 2 or this block of length 1 or this block of length 1 so let's say we include this block of length 1 so the answer will become 5 if we want to use one length one less piece of tape so in this case we will be using only three tapes right and if let's say we want to even use one one more less tape like let's say k was 2 then uh, i can use like so i can either merge these two so that means i have to sacrifice these two cells or i have to sacrifice this one cell so of course i sacrifice this one cell so my answer will get added by one so the answer is six so like um in so that's how you can use uh, only two tapes like this right so in general if i have like n broken segments if i have n broken segments and i can only use k pieces of tape then obviously i have to like uh, reduce n minus k pieces like n minus k pieces i have to remove or basically merge right so i will just choose the smallest n minus k differences like that's what i did here right as you can see um, here in this test case that's what i did like 
let's say k was 2 here and n is 4 so in this test case n is equal to 4 and k equal to 2 so basically i need to merge two pieces of tape so i have these three gaps this gap is of one length this gap is of two length and this gap is of one length so i just uh, sacrifice these two one lengths and they get added to my answer so four plus these two ones right so the answer is just n plus the smallest n minus k differences right so that is the entire answer so i'll just uh, show this via this example as well this sample like you have 1 2 4 16 and 87 so we have five pieces so uh, and k equal to 3 right so that means we need to delete two of them right like um, in ideally we would use five pieces but we can only use three so that means we have to merge two of them that is n minus k n minus k is 2 so we have to merge two of them and we have like what the differences are what so here the difference is uh, 0 I mean there is 0 wastage between these two broken cells so if I just take them as one tape then there will be 0 wastage right then between these, this and this there is only one cell then between uh, these two there is 55 length right and between these two there is um, 26 length so like how I got this 55 you can see like between 2 and 4 the difference is 4 minus 2 minus 1 so you have one cell in between so similarly 60 minus 4 minus 1 you have 55 cells in between and here you have 24 cells in between sorry 26 cells in between so um, what will you choose like you have to decrease two tapes right so you have to sacrifice two differences so you will sacrifice this zero difference and this one difference like the smallest two differences you will sacrifice so the answer would just become um, like initially it is 5 because you want to use 5 length but uh, this 0 and 1 get sacrificed so the answer will get incremented by 0 and 1 so the answer is 6 right so that's the entire solution here it is pretty easy like you can simply find all the differences between adjacent elements and sort them right and then just choose the first n minus k ones and add them to your n so you'll get your answer all right so i'll just show the code now so in the main function I just, I just have the fast input output and the solve call to solve function and in my solve function i have nmk scene nmk array an so like the places where it is broken and i just in, take the input okay and it's guaranteed it is, it is sorted okay in the problem it is guaranteed that the input is sorted right so i don't need to sort that i don't need to sort that so i just find the differences between each adjacent uh, pair right so there are n minus 1 differences so for int i equal to 0 i less than n minus 1 i plus plus difference of i equal to a of i plus 1 minus a of i and minus 1 right like here 4 minus 2 minus 1 which is 1 okay so difference of i equal to a of i plus 1 minus a of i minus 1 and then i sort it because i want the first n minus k differences the smallest n minus k differences so i sort it and i initialize answer to n because the answer is n plus the first smallest n minus k differences so initialize answer to n and just do ans plus equals to difference of i for the smallest n minus k differences right and then just finally print the answer okay so this will take like o of n log n time complexity because we are using sort function and it will take o of n log n time and space complexity is just o of n because we have created an extra array which is called like for the differences so it will take o of n space so the tc here is o of n log n and space is o of n okay so yeah i hope you understood this problem and thank you for watching